Colorectal cancer is a cancer arising from the colon or the rectum. Uh, these two organs are also known as the large intestine. One of the most preferred way of screening for colorectal cancer is to do a colonoscopy exam. So in this examination, we put in a tube which has a camera inside the colon and the rectum and we view the entire colon and rectum to look for polyps or even cancers. Polyps are the precursors of cancers. That means they have a tendency to grow into cancer uh, if it is left uh, untreated. So if we see a polyp, we will remove it there and then, okay? Uh, if we see a cancer, obviously it looks very abnormal, we will also biopsy it. So when we first diagnose the cancer, we confirm the diagnosis through biopsies. After we have confirmed the diagnosis through biopsies, we will need to stage the cancer. Correctal cancer treatment, basically we treat the patient according to the stage of disease. Okay? In general, we do surgery first for stage 1 and stage 2, right? And even stage 3, okay? Except for rectal cancer. In rectal cancer, we may do radiation first before we offer surgery. It's very important when we remove colorectal cancer, we must remove not only the cancer within the segment of intestine that is affected, but we also remove the fat that contains the blood vessels, the lymphatic channels and the lymph nodes that supply that part of the intestine that is affected. When we do so, we do what we call an oncologic resection. That means we take the cancer out together with the potential area of spread. Now, after we remove that section of bowel, then we have to join the two ends back together again, right? So in the colon cancer, we have plenty of intestine. You remove one section, we can easily join it back. But in the rectum, it can be a little bit tricky, especially if the cancer is very close to the anus, right? If the cancer is very close to the anus, and we remove all the rectum, we may not have enough length to join to the end, okay, without compromising the bowel function. For a rectal cancer that is low lying, that means it's very near the anus. Sometimes a patient end up with permanent colostomy if a patient go ahead with surgery first. We can use radiotherapy to string the cancer down and away from the anal sphincter, which is the group of muscle controlling the defecation. The patient can avoid permanent colostomy, but a temporary colostomy will still need to be done uh, initially, and after three to six months, it can be reversed. In stage three colorectal cancer, the risk is that there could be microscopic disease left behind. And microscopic disease is why cancers can recur after, even after surgery. In this situation, chemotherapy is the recommended treatment to essentially mop up or kill the microscopic disease, decrease the chances of a recurrence of the cancer, and increase the chances of a cure. Our treatment for stage three colon cancer has been further refined over the years. What we'll come to now know is that there are features where we can categorize the cancer as either a normal or low risk stage three colon cancer or a high risk stage three colon cancer. The standard of care has long been six months of chemotherapy with two chemotherapy drugs. But now, large studies have shown us that for a normal risk such cancer, three months of the treatment is equivalent to six months of the treatment and with much lower side effects, particularly numbness of the hands, the fingers and toes which can arise from the chemotherapy. For the high risk stage three colon cancers, we will still recommend six months of treatment. So in this way, we can further personalize the treatment according to the risk features of the cancer.
For stage 4 colorectal cancer, it means that the cancer has unfortunately spread beyond the local or regional confines of the tumour. Many times, unfortunately, the cancer may not be curable because it's too extensive or too widespread. There are some specialised scenarios where we may still be able to aim for cure. Colon cancer uh, may sometimes only involve the liver and in such cases, directed treatments to the liver, including surgery or ablation, may sometimes actually give rise to good results and long-term um, control and even the possibility of cure. However, in many other patients where it is more extensive, the treatment aims are more to control the cancer, but with the advantage of prolonging survival time and improving quality of life. In some scenarios, we actually face colon cancers where there is obstruction or near obstruction of the tumour in the colon. At the same time, maybe there could be other issues with metastases in the liver or elsewhere that need urgent treatment as well. Sometimes in these situations, the surgeon together with the oncologist may make a recommendation that instead of proceeding straight to surgery, we may insert a stent into the colon to open up the colon to allow the passage of feces, therefore allowing us to actually move on more speedily with the chemotherapy rather than have to wait for post-surgical recovery.